welcome back to my channel it's Lori and it's another makeup video tutorial today so if you want to make this look my warm caramel makeup look just keep on watching first I'm gonna be using this touch and sew primer to prime my face I'm gonna apply a small amount to reduce the appearance of my pores and other blemishes. Also, this will help my foundation application last longer. Next, I'm gonna use my favorite Sephora foundation all over my face. I'm gonna get my foundation brush to blend the product seamlessly. For my concealer, I'll be using the Sam Cover Perfection Tip Concealer to hide some of my zits and blemishes. Sorry, my skin is not in good condition right now because of these hormones. This time, I'm going to use a small damp sponge to blend the product on my face. For baking, I'm gonna use the famous Got the Airspawn Loose Face Powder and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes, allowing heat from my face to set my foundation and concealer. Next, I'll be using this Showreel Eyebrow Cushion. This time, I'm drawing and filling in sparses to achieve the perfect eyebrows. Take a brow comb so that no hairs are poking up in the wrong direction. I'm gonna apply a light layer of concealer under the brow with a small brush to bring instant shape and definition to my eyebrows. Apply brow gel to help your brows stay in place all day. Use the brow brush to comb it in. I'm gonna finish the other one behind the camera. BRB! I'm back and I'm done with both of my eyebrows. For my eyes, I'll be using this light brown color and put it over my crease.
going to get a clean brush to blend the eyeshadow well. We don't want any harsh edges or muddying shades peeking through. Next, I'll be using this Maybelline Tattoo Brown Eyeliner to tightline my eyes. Let's try to smudge our eyeliner for that softer effect. I'm gonna wet this angled liner with this facial mist and get a darker brown eyeshadow to create a subtle wing eyeliner. I'm gonna use again this Maybelline Tattoo Liner to tightline my lower lash line. Next, I'm getting this highlighter from the Bomb Cosmetics and put it on the inner corners of my eyes. This will make my eye area look lighter and will give my eyelids more dimension. Before proceeding to the next step, let's dust off the excess powder that we baked earlier. For the contour, I'm gonna use this Caroline Contour Stick and take it underneath my cheekbones to really get that defined look. Then on my jaw, on the temples of my head and over my nose bridge. I'm gonna get again a damp sponge to blend the product well. I'm gonna get again this light brown shade to intensify my nose line. To make my eyes open, I'm gonna curl my lashes using this Nichido Lash Curler. I'll be putting this Taiwan Falsies in number 218 on my eyes. I swear I'm not really good at this, so please bear with me. I'm gonna apply this Heroin Make Mascara to make my eyes look brighter and full of life. Don't forget also to curl your lower lashes since this will open up her eyes and make it look bigger. I'm getting the brown shade of this palette, place it on the outer corner of my lower eye and dragging it halfway through. For my blush, I'm gonna apply this moderately warm toned light orange blush by Colourpop on the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm gonna get this shade to make my blush look more caramelly. To moisturize my lips, I'm gonna put this Laneige Lip Slipping Mask and leave it for a minute or two. 
For my lipstick, I'll be using this MAC Matte Lippy in the shade Velvet Teddy. To achieve that ombre look, I'm gonna apply this Deep Chili Color Lippy by Merlin. To finish off my look, I'm gonna be spraying this Mario Badescu Facial Mist Spray. video just please click like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you when i see you bye